Hi dear, last class we have seen the structure of the neuron. Okay, today we will see the classification of the nervous system and the reflex action and reflex arc. Okay, so nervous system you know that okay it control it controls everything control and coordinate every action in our body right so it is broadly classified as central nervous system called cns and peripheral nervous system called pns okay central nervous system you know that uh, this uh, nervous system consists of a brain and a spinal cord and it is arranged in a wire like structure wire like structures right so the central nervous system consists of brain and the spinal cord. This brain and the spinal cord constitute the central nervous system. Okay. This peripheral nervous system uh, consists of uh, cranial nerves and spinal nerves. Whatever the nerves coming out from the uh, spinal cord, it is called, the name itself indicates it. This is a spinal nerves. Okay. These are the spinal nerves and which is coming out from the brain. That is near the skull, skull part. It is called cranial nerves. Okay. So these are the broad classification of nervous system. CNS and PNS. Central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Okay. What is the main function of the CNS? You know that brain, brain is involved here. So that means it is only for processing the information. Right. So it will. It, it's not only for processing. The main function is to process the information. Okay. CNS main function is to process the information. Okay. Okay. Then what is the purpose or function of the PNS? PNS main function is to communicate with the other parts. Okay. Whatever the information as a decision is made, uh, made in the brain, it will send, pass on the message to all parts of the body. Okay. Or from the uh, sensory, uh, sensory receptor, sorry, uh, from the receptor cells to uh, brain. Both the way it will do. Okay. From brain to all parts of the body, from parts of sensory parts to uh, brain, okay, to the spinal cord and brain, brain, okay. Next, we'll move to the uh, stimulus. So, in the ninth standard itself, you read about the stimulus, right? Stimulus means change in the environment of the body. If there is any change happen to your body, that is called stimulus, okay? Stimulus. So. Whatever, uh, if suddenly, uh, if I touch unknowingly, I will touch the heart part means suddenly I will take my hand, right? Suddenly I will take my hand. How it happens? I am responding to the stimulus. Okay, stimulus is sudden cha change in the environment. Now, if uh, unknowingly I touch the heart part, my temperature of the finger has changed. So, suddenly I have taken my finger, right? So, that is a sudden change is your stimulus and I am responding to that uh, stimulus is your reflex, reflex action. Okay. The change in the environment of the body is known as stimulus. What is my reflex action? The quick or sudden responses. Okay. Sudden responses given immediately, immediately to some, some stimulus are called reflex action. Immediately we will take. We will not, uh, will not think whether we can take or not. Not like that. Immediately we will uh, pull our finger. Right. Uh, take your hands. Right. Whenever we, if we touch the hand, uh, hot part or anything. Right. So if something is come nearer to your eyes means what? Immediately you will blink. Right. These are the reflex action that are quick and sudden response given immediately to some stimulus. Okay. Okay. So it is an involuntary response. Okay. It is an involuntary response. It is not consciously done. We are not consciously thinking about that and we are taking the finger. No, it is not like that. We are unconsciously we are taking. Whenever you touch the heart, suddenly you will take it. That, that is done unconsciously. Okay. It is an involuntary response. We are, we, are, we are having one more involuntary, more in, involuntary work here. A uh, heartbeat, be, uh, heartbeat uh, working of the heart is very involuntary, involuntary process. Okay. But it will continuously, it will do. Okay. But here this involuntary response is only respond to the stimulus. Whenever there is a stimulus, then only you will have this response, involuntary response. Okay. There is a difference between the uh, working of the heart and this uh, reflex action. 
the reflex action when when you will do this uh, when will you have this quick response whenever there is a stimulus change in the environment then only you will uh, do this uh, action okay reflex action but heart beat is different okay it will uh, without any stimulus it will be involuntary working okay example of this uh, reflex action is pulling hand away from a uh, flame blinking when the object approach near the eye okay next reflex arc reflex arc so how this sudden respond uh, response you are uh, doing immediate response how it happens it is the reflex arc sorry for sorry for this this is reflex arc it is the connection made between the input and the output nerve okay the connection made between the input nerve. that means input means what detecting the signal once you touch the hot part the receptor cells receptor cells you know that group of cells present the tip of this nerve right tip of the sensory organs that detect the signals once the signals are detected and you will get the response and the output uh, responding to it the output nerve will responding to it that is the reflex arc that is a connection made between the input and the output nerve okay what is input means detecting the signal output means responding to it okay uh, the reflex arc are formed in the spinal cord itself uh, where all the nerves from all over the body meet in the bundle okay for this uh, reflex action alone it is a special type of uh, reaction respond to that 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 means what it will not wait for the brain to send the decision okay without uh, say, sending this with uh, uh, before sending to the brain itself it will respond immediately where it it will it will get the response from the spinal cord itself okay it will not wait for the brain to uh, give the uh, final decision okay immediately that means without the thought process without thinking because i mentioned here it is unconsciously done okay without the brain brain's help it will give immediate response okay the reflex have, have evolved as an efficient way of functioning in the absence of true thought process okay absence of true thought process <coughs> without without consciousness we will do all this thing okay so before our, uh, before the uh, brain brain get the signal and 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 it will not wait for the response okay uh, before that uh, even your hand uh, your skin would have burned okay so it will not wait for the brain to give the signal before that itself it will give the immediate response okay where that happens it happens in the spinal cord itself okay the reflex arc are found in the spinal cord itself so this is your reflex arc it looks like a arc that's why it gets a name reflex arc okay so whenever you touch a hot part here you touch a hot part the receptors present at the sensory organs right the receptors will be the group of cells present at the sensor tip of the sensory organ it will detect the signals okay who will detect the signals the dendrites this is your dendrites the dendrites will say as uh, detect the signal okay and it will pass on the information to the cell body so this is your cell body the cytoplasm and nucleus cell body will have a nucleus and this is your cell body okay and from the cell body it will pass on the information to the other nerve through what through the axons right this is your axon the nerve which detect the signals right this these nerves are called sensory nerve sensory neuron sensory neuron okay this nerve is called your sensory neuron okay this neuron is called sensory neuron which detects the cells okay the dendrites will uh, uh, the receptor cells will be present at the dendrites so it will detect that and 
it will detect the signals it converted the chemical reaction happens it trigger the chemical reaction here it converted into electrical impulses and it, the electrical impulse pass on to the cell body from the cell body it pass on to the next nerve through the axons you will have a axon ending here uh, uh, before itself we learn you, you will have a gap uh, syn uh, synapses there right so here the electrical uh, signals will stop and it will be converted into chemical chemical uh, chemical will be released okay and the chemical uh, will reach this uh, dendrites and uh, once it uh, uh, reaches this dendrite again it converted into electrical impulse this this one one of the nerve is present here right you can see this dendrite cell body axon and nerve ending this is called your what relay neuron If you are able to see this, this is your spinal cord. This is your spinal cord. Where the reflex arc is formed in the spinal cord itself. Okay, within the spinal cord, it will communicate between the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. This is your motor neuron. Okay, this relay neuron communicate between the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. Again, the electrical impulses pass, pa passes and it will come come to an end at the nerve ending. From the nerve ending, you will have a chemical release and again you have a synapse. And this chemical reaches this dendrites of the motor neurons. You will have the dendrites here. It will uh, pass uh, chemical uh, chemical uh, release will be converted into electrical impulse from the cell body it will pass on to the axon and you will have a, uh, a nerve ending here axon ending here from the ending you will get the signals right this electrical sim signal stop and it will convert into uh, chemical chemical is released here okay it will contract the muscle right it will contract the muscle present here so it will take the hand or pull the hand immediately from the hot pot okay so from this is the spinal cord this is a cross section see this is a spinal cord from here i have done this and this is the back part back of the spinal cord and this is your front side okay from this uh, the signals will be uh, uh, pass on to the brain also okay before it reaches the brain immediately you will you will get the response okay immediately from the new uh, spinal cord itself you will get the response and immediately you will react to that okay that's why it is called an involuntary process without consciousness without true process without true true thought process it will before reaches the brain it will uh, immediately respond okay because if uh, if anybody is uh, uh, thought process they are not thinking they are not uh, doing this thought process means how they will react to the stimulus okay so there is a system called without the thought process also we can uh, respond right so this is a one of the quick response which will happen uh, from the spinal cord itself okay anyway the signals will pass on to the brain also before it reaches it will get the response from the uh, spinal cord itself okay the neuron which detect the signals is called sensory neurons and the neuron which respond to the stimulus is called the motor neurons the neuron which communicates between the sensory and the motor neuron is called relay neuron which is present inside the uh, spinal cord itself this is your spinal cord this is your white matter present here jelly like matter and you will have a gray matter present here in the gray matter itself you will have this neurons okay so this is called relay neuron it will communicate to the motor neuron okay only this uh, new thing is in the sensory neuron you will have a long dendrites and this is a cell body and a short axon okay in the book you can able to see that it uh, this cell body is represented by the loop form see when you touch the hot part it is detected by the sensory neuron this is a long dendrite and you will have a loop like structure here right it is your cell body cell body of the sensory neuron and a axon and the axon ending here from the axon the electrical impulse st stops here then it pass on it releases a chemical a synapse is there from the uh, uh, 
so it will take only microseconds to reach the another nerve so this is your relay neuron again it uh, the electrical impulses the elect sorry chemical re release will be converted into electrical impulse once it touches the dendrites of this relay neuron then it will pass on to the cell body from the cell body to axon ending again uh, its uh, electrical impulse stop here and it becomes a it releases a chemical uh, chemical then it reaches the uh, dendrites of the motor neuron and it converted into electrical impulses and from the cell body it pass on to the muscle through the axon here your axon ending will be there nerve ending will be there it will release uh, chemical your uh, muscles will contract and immediately you will take your hand okay this is how uh, this is the reflex arc this is how you are respond to your stimulus okay without reaching the brain uh, uh, before anyway the muscle say the message will be sent to the brain also but before it reaches the brain you will immediately respond to this that's why it is uh, this action is a involuntary action and without true thought process okay thank you